this is Kelly with Up to Light Movement and Yoga and today we're going to do a Kundalini Yoga inspired movement class that will help us to start to move our Shakti energy or the divine energy that started everything that we are. So if you can think of it as that creative spark. And we're going to move it through the energy centers of our body. They're called the chakras. And we have seven of them. And they start at the very base of the spine and move all the way up to the crown of the head. There are more than just the seven. But those are the ones that are along our spine and our major energy channels. So we're going to take that Shakti energy through our dynamic movements and move them from the base of our spine to the crown of our head and see if we can get some good energy going and make our bodies feel really, really good so that at the end of class, we can relax. You might need some props during this class to make things a little more comfortable for you and to help you modify. One of those would be a yoga block or something similar to a yoga block. You also might want, if you have sensitive knees or would like some extra padding, you might want a folded blanket. And also a stool, just any simple stool will do, or a chair. Um, you even could move your mat close to the wall so that you can just place a hand on it. It's more for balance than anything else. So grab some props, the ones that you'll need, and meet me back on your mat. So we're going to start today's class in an easy seated pose. One leg in front of the other is usually the way it goes with the heels coming close into the perineum. Um, but if this is not accessible for you yet, crisscross applesauce works as well or any other comfortable seated pose that allows you to feel grounded through the sits bones, the bones in our pelvis that we sit upon and then allows you also to lengthen up your spine. So these movements can even be performed in a chair as long as you're feeling grounded and stable and you have room to move. So find yourself in this easy seat. Go ahead and place the hands on the knees. We're gonna turn our palms to face up. In yoga, when our palms are facing up, that is as if we are asking to receive energy. Palms facing down is going more within and looking to conserve energy. So for this class, we're gonna get the Shakti moving, get the energy really uplifted. So we're gonna turn our palms to face up. And go ahead and close your eyes, and then start to feel your spine. Feel your sits bones rooted into the mat. And then feel length from below your navel to the pubic bone so that the length of our torso comes from the lift of our lower core. And then start to feel the natural curve of the lumbar spine. And then from that, draw your navel just a little bit in and up as if you were being zippered up through the middle. And then feel your heart rise with that little bit of a zippering up of the core. And then draw the chin in just slightly lift the crown of the head. And now, breathing in through your nose as if you're drinking the air from above the crown of your head. Let it feel the back of your skull, then feel it in the neck, between the shoulder blades, maybe even let the spine ripple with the sensation in the lower back, the sacrum, and the tailbone, and then exhale also through the nose from the sits bones up. Pull the navel up and in just a little bit. Don't force, just exaggerate. Lift the heart. Lift the chin slightly. Feel the air coming out the crown of the head, and then inhale again down the back body, back of the head, neck, between the shoulder blades, the lumbar spine, Sacrum tailbone, inhale, and then exhale from the sits bones up the front of the body. Feel your lower core engaged, navel engaged, chest lifts, chin lifts, the air escapes through the crown of the head. One more breath like this, breathing in through the nose from the top of the head, neck, middle of the back, 
lower back sacrum. Tailbone, exhale from the sits bones up the front of the body. Lower core draws in, navel, heart lifts, chin, crown of the head, and then slowly blink the eyes open. And we're gonna start with a basic spinal warm-up series. So go ahead and place your hands on your knees and we're going to do what's called a Sufi grind. So it's waking up the lower lumbar spine. So we're just gonna make big circles um, over our pelvis with our torso. So we're gonna begin by inhaling forward and then exhaling as we come back, navel to spine, rounding between the shoulder blades, bringing the heart forward to the right and then lean forward, pulling the shoulders back just slightly, then to the left and back again. So big circles here. We inhale forward, we exhale back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And when you feel the movement in your body, you can go ahead and close your eyes like I am and just focus your gaze inside about an inch above the bridge of the nose continue circling to the left counterclockwise inhaling forward exhaling back opening the heart and then opening the back body inhaling and exhaling coming forward on the sits bones and then tucking the tailbone under a few more here and you can go at the speed that feels right to you. Just make sure that you're taking good, deep breaths. And then we come back to center. Inhale. And we're going to exhale out the mouth with a sigh. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, sigh. And now we start the other side. So again, move the torso to the left, open the heart up to the front, to the right, and back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Again, going at the speed that feels right for you. When you're coming forward, you're opening up through the chest. And then as you go back, you're rounding back between the shoulder blades. So you're opening up both sides of the upper chest here, but you're really lubricating and getting into motion that lower lumbar spine. Feeling the sits bones rooted the whole time. You're not picking up each hip. You're only making them as big as you can keep rooted into the ground. A few more here. Inhaling and exhaling. Getting good deep breaths in and out, no matter how fast they are. And then coming back to center, keep the eyes closed, big deep inhale. Exhale up the mouth, sigh. Big deep inhale. Exhale up the mouth and sigh. Now open the eyes for the next exercise. So for the next one, if you want to, you can grab your block. If you are working on the rock pose that we um, introduced last class, you can sit your sits bones on the block. Or if you're already comfortable in rock pose, you can sit your sits bones just on your heels for this next one. Another way that you can do the next one is still from easy seat. Your hands will just be on your ankles here instead of your knees. So whatever, position you want to do this next one in. Go ahead and find that now. I'm going to go ahead and sit my sits bones on my heels and do this from rock pose because we're working more now into the lower middle back and the thoracic spine. So wherever you are grabbing either your ankles or your knees, you're going to start in a neutral, ground down through the sits bones on your heels, your block, or your mat lift up through the heart. Now this one is really simple. We inhale forward and again we pull back on our knees or ankles and we draw our heart forward. Navel supports the lower spine by just tucking in or cinching in just a little bitty bit here. 
And so we inhale forward, we exhale, we round from the tailbone, curling under, navel drawing the spine, and then opening up, keeping hold of the knees or ankles, and using that to open up the back body, chin tucks. So we inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, exhale. So whatever feels good to you in your body, do that in terms of speed. Just taking good, deep breaths and letting the breath inform your movement. So only go as fast as you can keep up with the breath. And then feel the opening in the front and back bodies as you oscillate between forward and back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. And again, when you feel really good with this movement in your body, just close your eyes and let the movement be the experience. Not trying too hard, just feeling it in your body, forward and back. Just a little more, forward and back. And then coming to center, feel the spine extend through the rooting of the sits bones. Big deep inhale, in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth and sigh. Inhale, in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth. Very good. So you can now open your eyes for the next exercise. We're going to work more into the upper back between the shoulders and a little bit of the cervical spine as we move now. You can either stay in rock pose or you can take an easy seat if rock pose is getting tiring for you for the next one. Feel yourself really rooted through the sits bones. Bring your hands out, palms facing up. Extend through the arms, so as if you're being pulled in opposite directions and then trying to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, go ahead and bring your fingertips to the tops of the shoulders here where shoulder pads would go in an old style outfit. So here, we're going to pretend as if we're an agitator in a washing machine. And I like to call this one washing machine. And from the upper body, from the navel up only, we're gonna inhale left and then exhale right. Inhaling, exhaling, just letting your neck be the passenger. And really as if you've got on a corset or you're zippered up in the middle, Go ahead and kind of knit the belly in toward midline so that you're twisting just from the navel up and you're fully supported in the spine. So we're gonna start here, inhaling, exhaling. You can close your eyes. Trying to keep those elbows level with the shoulders. They're gonna want to come down See if you can feel as if someone is just kind of pulling on the elbows, keeping them lifted. Let the breath carry you from left to right, left to right. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Left to right. Keep going. Inhaling deep to center, arms come up and overhead, palms meet overhead, and then exhale, bring the hands in prayer pose down midline. And now coming to an easy seated pose, we're just going to work through some neck rolls. So placing the hands on the knees, we're going to drop our chin to our chest. And then take our left ear to the left shoulder. And then as we come back, open the jaw, inhaling as the head goes back. Right ear to right shoulder. And then exhaling as the chin drops again to the chest. We're going to do three times each side. Left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, head comes back. Going slowly, feeling every sensation. Right ear to right shoulder. Head drops down. Exhaling, big deep breaths, inhale, and exhale. 
exhale. And now we're going to switch to the right. Right ear to right shoulder. Head drops back. Inhale. Left ear to left shoulder. And then head comes down. Exhale. Again. Taking it slow. Feeling how the neck feels today. Being very mindful as you move. One more time. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And then bringing the head up. So now we've worked from the base of the spine all the way up to the cervical spine and the neck. And that's got our spine really good and warmed up. So now we're going to do a few dynamic exercises for each of the chakras, starting from the base of the spine again and working up toward the crown of the head with our Shavasana. So from here, Go ahead and come into hands and knees. So making sure the wrists are directly under the shoulders. Knees are directly under the hips. In tabletop pose, we're going to curl our toes under. Okay? And as we inhale, we're going to push up into a high plank pose here. So from here, as we exhale, we're going to bring our knees down and sit back into a child's pose. Okay, and we're going to repeat that with the breath. So, from child's pose, we'll go ahead and get started. So, go ahead and find yourself in child's pose. And your knees will be a little more narrow than they normally are in child's pose. So, if your head doesn't come to the mat, that's perfectly fine. You're going to be pretty engaged the whole time anyway. So, from this child's pose, we're going to inhale to tabletop. Curl the toes under, exhale, press up to a high plank, really push the mat away, push back into the heels, inhale here, and then exhale, knees drop down, okay, at the same time, and then sitting back in the child's pose. Inhale forward into tabletop, curl the toes under, exhale, plank, inhale, knees drop, exhale, child's pose, continue on. Inhale, tabletop, curl the toes under, exhale, high plank. Inhale, control knee drop, exhale, back to child's. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, plank. Inhale, knees drop, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, curl and exhale the high plank. Drop knees. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale, table. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, knees drop. Exhale, child's pose. A few more. Inhale, table. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, knees drop. Exhale, child's pose. One more. Inhale, table top. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, control knee drop. Exhale, child's pose. And go ahead and wiggle the knees out wide, make your toes touch, and either drop your forehead to your block or to the mat, maybe to your blanket, and just take a few breaths here. Just slow down once again. And then maybe roll the forehead across the mat, waking up that third eye point that point right above the bridge of the nose where our pineal gland lives also known as in spiritual talk the third eye and then slowly rolling up from the tailbone one vertebra at a time dragging the arms along and then finally the crown of the head is the last thing to lift and you'll go ahead and come to standing so from standing, we're going to work into a few grounding poses, which works with our root chakra, the tailbone, and the feet. So the first one we're going to do is tree pose, and we've done this one before. So we're going to start by lifting the toes, feeling the big toe mound, the baby toe mound, and the heel really rooted into the mat, feeling the inner and outer arches lift, and then lightly place the toes down. We're going to shift the weight, lifting the quad of the left foot, squeezing the left glute just a little, 
and feel the weight evenly distributed in that left foot. From there, go ahead and place your hands on your hips and then lift the right heel. You can place it against the right ankle, the right calf, or you can reach down and place the foot just inside the thigh. So only do that if you're feeling stable. You can also reach out to your stool or the wall. And then when you have your foot where it should go, please do avoid the knee, start working on opening the hip up. So drawing the knee back, squeezing the right glute, squeezing the left glute, lifting the quad, and then looking out, finding a drishti or a focal point somewhere in front of you. And think as you feel the oscillations in your body, as you feel the energy moving, maybe you're swaying a little bit, Imagine your foot rooted as a tree roots, and then lift from there. If you're feeling good, go ahead and reach the arms up, grow your branches. Now, if you're falling out, that's perfectly fine. You've got time to come back into this. Think of it more like play than anything else. So from here, inhale, exhale, drop the right foot. Go ahead and shake it out, and we're going to repeat it on the right side. So again, taking those motions to ground down the right foot, almost like you're screwing it into the mat, lift the quad, firm the right glute. From there, place the weight into the right foot. You can bring your hands to heart center or you can start with them on your hips, whatever feels good. And then try the left heel to the left ankle. If that feels good, you can move it on up to the calf. If you're feeling pretty stable there, you can reach down with your hand and place it on the thigh, not the knee, of the inner right thigh. Hands come to the heart center when you have your foot where you want it to go. Now you're going to find that drishti focal point all along the way. You're going to draw in the lower core as if it's being knitted through the middle. So like your hip bones could kiss. And then with that drawing in of the lower core, you're going to engage the left glute. Start to draw your knee out just a little. And again, as you feel your muscles quiver, your body sway, continue to draw in the low core. Root the tailbone down like it's a tap root, like there's a big body root from your tailbone into the ground. Feel those roots in your right foot as well. And then if you're feeling stable, go ahead and lift your arms. And again, if you're falling, it's okay. Laugh it off, try again. Think of this as play. And lifting our arms as if they are branches. We're gonna inhale here. We're gonna exhale, bringing our hands down midline, a little different than the other side. And go ahead and drop your foot, shake it out. So the next one we're gonna do is a Kundalini frog pose. You're gonna come into a frog position with the legs. So you're going to be on your toes here. Your heels are going to be lifted and they're going to be touching if at all possible. All right, so you can work beginning if you have the flexibility to place your fingertips down. That is a full frog pose and we're just going to come down with the heels lifted and as we exhale, push up, okay? We're going to do that 26 times. If you don't reach yet, you can, and I'll show you from the side, use your block. Same way, just have your hands on the block, come down and up, down and up. And again, if the block is still not enough, you can place your fingertips on your stool. Same difference. Okay, just make sure that you give yourself enough room. Down and up, down up okay so wherever you are we're going to get started and again it's 26 times so we'll start from the squat again heels touching you're up on your toes placing your hands just in front of the pelvis between the knees you're going to inhale here exhale push up one inhale Exhale, two. Inhale. 
exhale three. You can close your eyes, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, nine, inhale, exhale 10, inhale, exhale 11, inhale, exhale 12, inhale, exhale 13, inhale, 14, 15, 16, inhale, exhale 17, inhale, exhale 18, inhale, exhale 19, You're almost there, inhale, exhale 20, inhale, exhale 21, inhale, exhale 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Go ahead and put the heels down. Let the torso hang. Grab opposite elbows. Give yourself a slight bend of the knees. Breathe. Now, slowly, one vertebra at a time. Tailbone starts to roll up. Navel to spine. Mid back. Upper back continuing to hold the elbows. Crown the head lifts, pull down on the elbows, squeeze the glutes, open the heart. And then coming back to center. So that one was a really dynamic one for the first chakra. You're probably feeling some energy moving. Now we're gonna get into the second, which is all along the pelvis. So we're gonna work on opening the hips here. So for this one, we're gonna come out into a goddess pose. You're going to bring the big toes at about 45 degrees. Your ankles will be just under where your wrists are. So your heels in, toes turned out, facing the top corners of the mat, again, about 45 degrees. So from here, you're gonna draw your pubic bone towards the sternum, give a slight inward draw to the navel, and then you're gonna sit down. Again, like you've got a big vine coming from your tailbone and rooting down into the earth. So from here, my knees wanna come in. We want our knees to go out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, engage my core so that I can feel the length in my torso coming from the lower abs. So drawing my tailbone under, my sits bones under, and then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and then I start to feel the stretch all along the hips, even out here in my outer hips. And then I'm gonna come down as low as I can. So again, feeling the length from the lower core coming up. First, we're gonna start hands to heart center. And we're just gonna start by tucking. So tucking the pelvis, pubic bone towards sternum, while again, pressing the knees out. So tuck, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do 10, opening the knees back. So you're really squeezing the glutes and you're using the outer hips to draw the knees toward the baby toes. Ready? 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly rise up, give yourself a shake. So just really shake, let the jump jiggle, in other words, shaking it out. It also helps to reset the nervous system when we shake. Big deep breaths. And now we're gonna come back into that goddess pose. So again, pubic bone towards sternum, root your tap root, draw open your knees, and now we're gonna bring our arms out and we're gonna shift from side to side, straightening one leg and then the other. One leg and then the other. So coming side to side there. Again, you can use the breath, inhaling, exhaling, or you can be doing long, deep breathing. Now coming back up into static goddess, bringing your hands back to heart center. Now we're gonna move just the upper ribs. So again, squeeze the glutes, make sure you're drawing those knees open. Upper ribs, left to right. And 
back to center. Now from here, push into the heels, rise up. Again, let it jiggle. Jiggle the junk. Big deep breaths, catch your breath. Now you're gonna heel toe your feet in just a little bit. And from here, we're gonna come into a yogi squat. Again, you can use the wall. You can also use your stool to come down into the squat, okay? But we're just gonna work our way down that way. So, with your heels, maybe a little bit wider than the hips, we're working towards bringing them closer to the sit bone space. And your feet, for most people, will be slightly turned out. Some people can do it with parallel feet. So wherever you are here, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift, we're gonna draw, like we're a marionette, plug between our legs, string coming out the top. We're gonna inhale here, really lift and squeeze the glutes, root down through the heels of the feet, inhale, arms up and overhead. And then as we exhale, we're gonna start bending into the knees. Again, drawing the knees out with our glutes, glutes engaged, coming down into the Malasana or Yogi squat. So again, you can be holding to the wall or to your stool, whatever works. From here, you're gonna think about pressing the thighs open with your triceps. You're gonna think about lifting out of that lower core, rooting that tailbone down and squeezing the glutes, lifting, feeling that strength here and breathe. Inhale, and then exhale, bring your fingertips behind you, slowly lower down to a seat. Now we're gonna start working on the third chakra, our personal power center, the fire in the belly. So working on some core. We're also gonna balance left and right hemispheres of the brain here. So lie flat on your back. You're going to bring your feet about hips distance apart and really ground in through the heels. Then you're going to give yourself a slight tuck of the tailbone, just a little bit so that you can feel the triangular part of the lower pelvis pushing a little into the mat. And then think about drawing back the heels towards the sit bones so that you've got some lower core engagement here. Draw your navel gently to the spine, bring your rib points down. You can do that on an exhale because that happens naturally anyway when you exhale. So big deep inhale, exhale. Feel those rib points come down. Maintain that, then expand through the side ribs as you breathe. Arms come up and overhead. Now, we're gonna inhale. We're going to, with a flexed foot, lift the left leg and right hand up, okay? Exhale, point the toes and lower. Inhale, right and left. Flex foot on the up. Pointed toes on the down, exhale. And then we're gonna go at speed with the breath. So find that engagement of the core that we just had. Arms up and overhead, and we begin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try not to lose that core engagement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keeping the core really on fire. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and shake it all out. Hips left to right. Letting it all shake out. Now, we're gonna do stretch pose. So again, lying on your back, you're going to find that core engagement that I was just talking about. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, with our hands in a diamond shape, place that diamond just under our sacrum so that our hands are 
almost like little pillows for our hips. So find a comfortable position there. You're gonna take a big deep inhale. And then as you exhale, again, feel those lower rib points draw in, feel the pubic bone start to curl towards the sternum. Keep that core engagement, okay? Now you're gonna push the big toe mounds together. You're gonna feel as if you're being zippered up between your legs. So your thighs are drawing together, almost like you've got a mermaid tail. Inhale again, let the ribs expand, keep your core engagement. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift your head and your feet, feeling as if you're being pulled in opposite directions, and breathe. Try not to pull up with the neck, but really feel this in your core. Try not to lose that core engagement. Big deep breaths, just a little more. Stretch pose, feeling as if you're being pulled from the crown of the head and through the toes. One more big deep breath. Exhale, lower down. Again, shake it out, hips left to right. And again, you hear me sigh when I breathe. Doing that moves energy. So if you're feeling a buildup of energy, big deep breath in and big deep breath out. <sighs> the sigh, you can let it out the mouth even. So coming back to center, now um, rolling onto your side, we're going to work on the heart center. So the next energy center between the shoulders, and this is front and back bodies. So we're going to be working on strengthening the back body in these while opening up through the front body. So from this Sphinx pose, we're gonna go into Locust Pose or Shalambhasana. So you're going to drop your torso, again, feeling like your legs are a mermaid tail back there. You're gonna bring your hands down by your hips, palms facing down. Bring your chin to the mat or your forehead to the mat, whatever feels better. Now, we're gonna start again, mermaid tail, then press the thighs into the mat, Pubic bone draws towards sternum, navel knitting in toward the spine, and then feeling our hip bones press into the mat here. Now we're gonna take a big deep inhale into the back body, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, lift chest and feet. So drawing the shoulder blades together back there, feeling as if someone is pulling your feet, pulling you from the crown of the head up, drawing that core in, and hold. Big deep inhale here. Exhale, lower back down to the mat. Now we're gonna work into an extended cobra pose, and we're gonna start to open up also through the throat center here. So getting kind of a two in one. For this one, you can separate your legs into a V, and your feet can come off of the mat. You're gonna bring your hands right under your shoulders so that your fingertips are in line with the tops of your shoulders. We're gonna inhale here, take that same core engagement, pubic bone towards sternum, squeezing the glutes, navel towards spine, and then we're gonna push in, lift up into a high cobra, and look to the left. Inhale the center, Exhale down, inhale, push up. Exhale, look to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale right. Inhale center, exhale down. A few more, inhale up, exhale left. Inhale center, Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale bond. Inhale center. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale down. Go ahead and make a pillow with your forehead. Stacking palms one on top of the other and lay your forehead just down there. And you can go ahead and shake your hips again, left to right. 
Big deep breaths. Few out of the mouth. Feeling the energy move through the body. Now be really still so that you can notice maybe any tingles, ripples, maybe feeling your heartbeat. Notice where you feel those things in your body. And then with your hands under your shoulders, you're going to inhale, push up to a tabletop position. And then come back into an easy seat. We're going to continue to work with the throat center. We're almost done. We almost get to rest. So for this one, we're working up into the cervical spine or the throat center. So we're working with the neck. We'll continue also working into the heart space because all of these are intimately connected to each other. So usually when you're working on one, you're working on the areas directly above and below, wherever it is that you are working. So here with the throat center, we're gonna turn our left hand, palm facing out in front of our heart. Right hand faces left palm, and you hook the hands into a bare grip. So this one's bare grip twists. We're going to inhale, our head comes to the left, and our elbows go to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So we're gonna start that way. Again, you can close your eyes when you feel comfortable with the exercise so that you can just feel it in your body. So big, deep inhale here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Left and right. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, center, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Don't force, just feel. Next one, come back to center. Let your hands rest on your knees, palms facing up. Keep your eyes closed and just notice where do you feel the circulation in your body, little tingles and the ripples. Notice that energy, let the body settle. One more thing for the throat center, go ahead and blink open your eyes. We're gonna drop our left hand right outside the left hip. We're going to inhale, arm, right arm comes up and overhead toward the left ear. We're going to pull the head down, right over toward the right shoulder. Let the left arm be heavy. And again, you control the sensation here. So dropping that shoulder and opening up through the left side of the neck. Big deep breaths when you're doing this really sensitive kind of opening work. Let your body know that it is safe and okay. Inhale back up to center, drop the right arm down. Inhale, left arm comes up. Left hand to right ear, left ear to left shoulder. Again, dropping the right shoulder, drawing the left ear to the left, and then feeling, noticing any differences from side to side. This informs you how you hold your tension in your body so that you can be more conscious of it as you go through your day. Big, deep breaths. And then inhale back up to center, left hand comes down. So for the next one, we're going to work into that third eye center that I was telling you about. The space that's just an inch above the bridge of the nose. We think of it as a place where our intuition is housed. 
So coming onto your hands and knees, you're going to bring your legs together and we're going to come into a rabbit pose or as close as you can to a rabbit pose. For here, you're going to take hold of your heels. Your fingers will be on the inside. Your thumbs will be on the outside next to your ankles. You're going to fold over your legs. You're going to place your forehead down on the mat. You're going to get it as close as you can toward your knees. And then the crown of your head will come onto the mat as best as you can. So if that's not working for you, you can put your head on a blanket, a pillow, or your block. Whatever works here to help you get that space to move. And then holding onto the heels, you're going to inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring your rear up. Continuing to hold to the heels. Continuing to draw the forehead toward the knees. And then opening up through the upper back and the back of the neck. Hold and breathe. And then slowly rolling back down. Go ahead and bring your knees wide, big toes touch. Arms come out in front of you, and we're going to put our forehead back down on the mat again. You can also place it on your blanket or your block. Arms come out in front of you, and again, just roll the forehead back and forth, releasing that area around the eyebrows. And then coming back to stillness, placing your focus on that space, that third eye space, breathing deeply just for a moment. Again, feeling the energy that you've moved through your body, taking a moment to be grateful for the ability to practice. For the ability to move your body in new ways. For your ability to even try. And then with that gratitude, come onto your backs for final Shavasana. Coming into the seventh chakra, the crown of the head. This is where we connect to the bigger picture. Maybe a higher power. Finding your body in a comfortable supine position. Just let your feet fall open. Your hands come rest down by your hips. Really plug your sacrum into the mat and then push down through your forearms. Lift your heart up and then like an inchworm, just kind of lay your spine back down on the mat to find some space. And then lose all muscular engagement. You can make your neck longer by bringing the chin in. Make sure your shoulder blades are flush with the mat. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale out the mouth with a sigh. Two more times. Big deep inhale. Exhale, sigh. Last time, inhale. Exhale, sigh. Letting the body fall into the mat. Letting your mind focus on the sensation that you feel in the body. Again, acknowledging the work that you've done. And then softening between the eyebrows and the crown of the head. Let the eyes fall into the sockets. Let the jaw relax and the tongue just fall back a little into the mouth. And relax through the heart space. Relax the navel. Relax the hips. Let your thighs go, your calves, your ankles. Finally, the soles of your feet. Relax. Stay here 
for three to five minutes. Give yourself time to integrate the work that we just did. Give yourself a reward for your effort. And I will see you next time on the mat. Thank you for practicing with me. Have a great day.